it's working against you people. You see, no law is meant to work against any particular individual. And even when those in NASA uh, claim that, that is actually being uh, a little bit too cheap. If there is a law that is being misused, then it is being misused on Kenyans. It is not targeting a certain individual. And it is upon us. And that law was passed in 2014, when I was not even a, a member of parliament then. But uh, if the law is being misused and abused, then it is up to all right-thinking Kenyans to come up and, uh, and speak up their mind. We expect, uh, I expect our colleagues in uh, NASA to actually champion for the rule of law. But right now, because their shoe is on the other foot, they are, they are quiet and comfortable. But I saw them complain about the way the police uh, actually supervised uh, violence in Matungu, in the London Ward, and in, uh, and in, and in Kapuchai, whereby uh, ANC seemed to have had the upper hand because it is considered that is their region uh, in Matungu. And for likewise, Ford Kenya was given um, a police protection uh, in Kabuchai to do ex uh, whatever they wanted with, um, with the members of the UDA uh, because that is considered a Ford Kenya, a Ford Kenya, a Ford, a Ford Kenya zone. So it's actually sad that uh, we are there. Um, the independence of our police force is actually at, uh, at risk. I don't even know whether we have an I IG of police because I think Mutiambai will go down in the history as one of the worst uh, uh, IGs we've ever had uh, in terms of independence, uh, acting independently as, um, uh, as a police uh, uh, force. Now that uh, they removed you from being the Deputy Secretary General of the Jubilee Party, do you feel exposed? <laughs> I am not exposed. First of all, uh, I am challenging that removal. One is, uh, you know, things that you do when you don't think properly and when you act like a robot, you will always have mistakes. First of all, the letter was dated 2020, which is an, an anomaly on its own. Um, there are a lot of grammatical uh, errors in that letter. Um, I will be challenging it for the simple reason that I want the rule of law to be observed. In the Jubilee Constitution, the National Management Committee cannot purport to have removed a member of NEC because uh, the, the NMC is a junior organ, a creation of the NEC. What should have happened is we would have had held a NEC meeting, which we have never ever held since 2017, I think uh, February 2017. Then the NEC would have recommended now and formed a disciplinary committee which I would have been summoned to appear before and give my case and I'm told what my uh, what my accusations are and what my mistakes are and then from there then we would form the, the they would make a decision whether to uh, remove me as a deputy SG or not so Jubilee has become a party as I said earlier that uh, has no respect for the rule of law and it's actually very very sad when the, a party that is ruling has no respect for the rule of law the only active organ uh, in the Jubilee uh, Party is the Disciplinary Committee, which are uh, also a section of, uh, of the robots. They are called and given instructions, go and listen to this, but the verdict is, this is what you, the decision want you to arrive at is expel so and so. You've seen what has been going on with the senators and all. Uh, those of who don't uh, agree with Jubilee, we are more than those who are remaining in Jubilee. If we were to exit Jubilee, we would cause a mini general election because we are over 100 members of parliament elected in Jubilee that uh, feel that the party is no longer representing our aspirations and our dreams uh, and those of the people we, we, we represent. So we have, uh, I don't think Jubilee would want to attempt to, uh, to expel anybody and still they don't have the capacity to expel a member of parliament who is elected. They may even expel me from the party, but they cannot uh, get me out of my soy constituency seat because that one, uh, that one they, can, they can't do. But I have an option. I have an option to, uh, to resign and, uh, and run on another, poli on another political party. That is an option that is very open and uh, an option that uh, I personally feel I could make a decision uh, sooner or later whether to, to do that or not, that is a decision I will make.